So I'm starting my June's burn and melt in a very different direction. Chloe stayed the weekend. She decided in her four-year-old brain, there goes Bella, that uh, she would pull every, well, not everything out. She would pull my candles out of this cabinet here and sniff them and then leave them on the coffee table for me to put back away. So that's what I'm doing. You can see things are kind of in a disarray here, but... This gives me the opportunity to find some things for June because, you know, I'm on a mission to melt a lot of my older stuff and before I keep buying new stuff. So here we go. Um, this I got at an auction. It's that beauty stuff, and cotton, and I figured it'd be great for soaking up excess wax when I'm I'm doing some candle corrections. So... I keep forgetting that's in there, but I also have cotton balls too. And I should have just brought my tripod downstairs. I do have a autumn wreath. What do they call this? The With the bamboo, you know, where it soaks up through the liquid. And she wanted to open this and I said, oh no, 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 no. We don't do that until autumn. And it's my last one, so I'm kind of like hoarding it. And they have a bunch of luminance. But I'm spying that wax back there. Of course, I have all these candles to put away here, too. And I'm looking. I have two of these McCall's. I think they're fried apples. I think they both are. I think I have a couple. I have, like, a pancake one. And then I have a couple of these fried apples. So, you know what? It's, uh, I don't think I've ever melted a McCall's candle. I have probably four or five of them now. And I just never lit one up. So I think I'm going to put one off to the side. So there's the first candle for June. Again, I got this at uh, Cracker Barrel. Last year, year before, you know, McCall's, I think, are a little, a little expensive. How much did I pay for it? $19.99. And I think that was the price I paid. Homestyle fried apples. Okay, I'm talking too much about that one. So this is the same thing. And then... Um, you know, this is a uh, Christmas, Christmas spirit. This one right here, Bakery Air. I think I'm going to put on eBay. You know, I've sold a couple candles on eBay. And uh, this one I never liked. I think it's a 2016. Yeah, it's a 2016. Hmm. I think the label's adorable. But I, I was so excited to get it. And now that I've had it for a while, I still don't like it. It looks like I, I maybe lit the, the wick up, but I did not. That's just the way the wax is coming up into the wick. You know, 2016. Oh, I do not like, I don't know what it is about it. There's some a note in there I just don't like. I think 2016 was either right before the struggle or during when Yankee Candle started really kind of I don't know. What do I want to say? Losing his oomph. I have some Illumilids. Did I go crazy with these? I have so many of them. And I rarely buy the one wick jars anymore. Because they use, they just take forever. And then I have to correct them. I've used that one. Yeah. I don't think I've ever used that one. That's Easter. I have a lot of Easter ones. Because those are the ones that usually would go on clearance. Yeah. This is Bath and Body Works. It's a soap holder. Right now I have a squirrel in my sink. So I just shoved that turtle back in there. There's my cotton balls. And I got one more. How cute is this one though? Santa with presents. Anyways. What's in here? Oh, you notice I have some cotton candy tea lights. I've had those for a while. When they when they were doing away with cotton candy, I went on the website and I got them for like next to nothing. I ended up buying them out. Uh, I think I bought like 10 boxes and it was done. Um, I bought all the remaining stock on hand. Here I think this is a uh, three pack of small jars. What do we got here? Strawberry lemon ice. Marshmallow chicks. And saltwater taffy. I don't think they came like this. Something else came in the box and I just used it for my small jars. Okay. 
Let me see if I can do this without making a bunch of noise. Well, I wasn't able to do it without making a bunch of noise, but here I just have some poppers. I have this Easter one, you put the, the base of it in there and then put this on top. I have this uh, Halloween one, and then I have a couple of Roto folders down in there. These are just uh, Better Homes and Gardens from Walmart tea lights that I use for my wax warmer that I have yet to find. <laughs> it's still on a box somewhere. And then I have two of these trays. Oh, margarita. Oh, my goodness. It's like it's talking to me. Margarita time. Boy, I'll be using this up for June. Um, uh, you can see there that my votives kind of faded to yellow. But I think that's been happening for quite some time. I used to show this one all the time. But you know what? I think today is the day to enjoy my margarita time for June. So I'm going to put this off to the side. Where's my... Yeah, I'm going to do fried apples. So there we go. And then I do have another one of these. But they're with older... Um, not older, but fall wax. I have a buttercream and... Uh, apple spiced something spiced apple and then spiced pumpkin don't add uh, you know the fall scents so i'll put that back in there okay i kind of got things put back in there so i can start bringing these candles down i do have some milk cups in alpine morning catching rays christmas celebration coconut beach and sugared pumpkin swirl so nothing there that's too appropriate for june no, well you know july christmas in july right um there's my little holder now let me see if i can do this the right way i do oh my did you just ah see that's what happens apple strudel and milk house candles my little handle broke off I think it can be squeezed back in there, but I have yet to burn one of these too. I think I got this one at Peddler's Village, the apple strudel. I do have a spiced pumpkin in the three wick. I love spiced pumpkin. I gotta tell tell you this, so when Chloe drug that all out and put it on the coffee table, it smelled really good. I forget how well candles can play with each other. And uh, so it was nice to smell it. I do have a uh, carrot cake. This is in the food and spice. I've had this one for a while. Put that there. Um, Peppermint Pinwell, Samantha and Chris got this for me for Christmas because they were my secret Santa. Chloe has insisted on lighting it a couple times. So we, we will call that the Chloe candle. All right, and then we have Christmas wishes. Okay, I remember buying this. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's a little perfumey for my taste. I love the label. I think it's, yeah, it's a 20, 2020. But I'm going to stack that right there. That way it leaves me room for the harvest. Look, I just made my Valentine's display into this cabinet. Oh, I'm such a bum. I didn't feel like putting it all away. It's cute though, and I had nothing in there. Well, I had stuff, but I just moved it and put that there. It was up here. It was up there. So now I have patriotic stuff. I have um, strawberry daiquiri still burning. That's my last candle of May. I th was on the right track to get things done timely, but, you know, then I just didn't get it done harvest spice pumpkin vanilla cupcake trick-or-treat this one smells delightful mm -hmm. mm. boy that's gonna be hard to burn but one of these days one of these days i'll do it oh shoot i stopped to put my handle back on this one and then shove it in there but um i'm gonna ebay that i'm gonna burn that and my last up is the lemon cake pop. So I was on Bath and Body Works. You know, they started their SAS sale. And I was looking. And the candles were on sale. And they had the lemon pound cake. But I think I remember smelling that last year. And I didn't care for it. 
not like I do lemon cake pop. So when I go over, we, we do like we hit the big Walmart over in um, Altoona and they have a Bath and Body Works over that way. So when I do go over to Walmart, I'm going to stop in and see if I can smell the lemon pound cake before I, I had like stuff in my cart and I wasn't saving much money. So I took everything back out and said i'll just wait to go smell it so anyways good start one two candles to burn you can see i'm not really having a theme except it's like okay summer oh yeah and my margarita time so um well i got a good start on things so i find myself not even making it upstairs because i thought that's right i have candles down here that i need to get through as well um it should be okay. I'm thinking it might be a little dark in here. But I do have the light on and it's daylight. Um, look in here real quick. Let's see what we got. I said, See, I did buy another coconut. Key lime coconut donut. That one was really good. But I don't think I'm going to burn that for June. But what's this one? Warm pineapple upside down cake. Pineapple. That might be a contender. Sweet, I see, again, Sweet Seduction jack o on holiday. I have a lot of fall candles. That makes me feel good, though, knowing that I'm getting through these. Uh, hot cocoa and cream. New England maple. I'm going to switch it to the other side. I'm going to see what I got there. What's this? Strawberry bunny shortcake. That one's good. The label's adorable. And let me see what this red one is. Oh, Christmas Eve spice pumpkin that's that fairy gum drop all right all fall except for the pineapple so I'm thinking about that pineapple one I might put that one in the mix so I grabbed that pineapple and I set it here in case I can't find something else I want I think this is Macintosh apple the God bless America one um, they had like three of them, right? Red, white, and blue wax. I only had the red one. Uh, so, oh, look at that sparkling lemon back there. Ginger spice cookies. That's another good one. But, yes, yeah, so let me grab this one. Sparkling lemon. I think uh, I'm going to smell it, see if I want it. And if so, it's going to go in there. I do have a bonfire s'more, so let me smell that one. not bad it's a little smoky smelling I don't know do I want that see I'm so like conflicted what to do oh wait there's that banana I just got this one too banana ice pop I think it is iced banana pop I got it when I placed that order a couple months ago you know what I think I'm gonna yeah I think I'm gonna do that one okay so that's three candles June's a hard month for me to get through. Why? Because it's daylight till 9 o'clock at night. And sometimes I'm outside or I go places and then, you know, it just gets down my burning time. And I hate to run candles into the next month. But enough of that. Blabbing about nothing. We have a jelly beans back here. Wow, look at the wax color changing on that. Oh, I have this one from Tuesday morning, Old Fashioned Lemonade by Colonial. I don't, now, um, Colonial Candle's not bad, mm, but there's only a couple of scents I really like from them, and this was one of them, the Old Fashioned Lemonade. Okay, all right, I'm putting this in too. That one smells really good. I'm thinking I got three lemons. I'm going to put the pineapple back. Oh, and I have a big lemonade too. Wow, easy decisions today, huh? <laughs> I know, silly. Firecracker pop. There could be much, much, much bigger problems in the world besides my discerning nose on what it wants to smell for the month of June. Um, I think I have a couple of these, but you know it's June, not July. So I'm just getting ideas for next next month. Wow, what else is in here? But I think I'm good. I think I am. Spice pear. I need to look that one up. 
see if it's worth listing on eBay. And, uh, yeah. All right. Well, let me put my mess away. And I'm going to see if I have any more wax. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm getting over here. I do. In my drawer down here. I have, what is that? Iced berry lemonade. Oh, yes. Let me, let me melt that. This is Yankee Candles New Melts. I don't think I'm a big fan of them. You hardly get a eight hour day out of it. Um, and I noticed a lot of the things were open like that. Mm, anyways, let me pull that one. What else do I have in here? Pumpkin, sugar, cinnamon, apple. I guess this is a good way if you wanted to try it. Pumpkin, banana, skin. There's another ice berry. Let me go ahead and burn or melt that one. Christmas Eve. What else do I do? Autumn. All right. I think the rest of them might be. Might be fall scents. By the way, I think I'm going to put back my. Banana pop. Why? Because I have three lemons now. But I'll talk about that in a second. So the last place I wanted to look for wax was in this basket that I keep up here on my my um, IKEA unit. So I don't think I have probably anything really for June, but I wanted to look. I see I have a lot of fall. Apple chutney, mulling spices, salted caramel apples. I have winter, perfectly pine, frosted fir, Santa sugar cookies. <clears throat> chocolate chip cookies which I guess could be any time winter woods I think this is oatmeal uh, oatmeal cookie and then down here I know I have more pine and then I have four of my salted caramels left okay I thought I didn't have anything really good Whew, I'll tell you what these two mixing together really kind of nauseating but i think i'll save those salted caramels for closer to the fall time um yeah okay well i guess that will work so here i am june 2023 burning the melt kind of really went with the lemon theme here old-fashioned lemonade by colonial candle sparkling lemon by yankee and i think this is more of a fresh lemon yeah, it's like a, like a, um, almost like a dish cleansing lemon. And this one's more like a lemonade right here. So lemon cake pop, of course, is more like a cakey pop. And this is Bath and Body Works. So I did grab these margarita tongs, which will go great with like any of this lemon. You know, lime always goes, I think, personally goes great with lemon. But this is all margarita time. And these are all... They all have some age to them, so it's time to get through them. What I'll do is I'll cut these uh, votives in half and put them in as a melt. Or just pull the wick out and throw them in in a melt cup or something like that. Uh, and then I do have these two newer ones in the iceberry lemonade. And I think I have melt cups in this as well, but uh, I'm not worried about it. And then the one, the one thing that sticks out as a sore thumb is my fried apples. So, but I think I'll do okay because this one I can get through within a week. This one will take some time. And apples and lemon, okay, well, maybe I'll save this towards the end of June as we get closer to July. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Let me know what you guys are up to on the burning and melting. And I tell you what, I was thinking to myself the other day. Uh, water lily <laughs> that's a golden girls reference um i thought as i get through these candles i have got to get my rear end back into crafting here's my craft space right there it's just not very inviting to me so i think i have to think about some way i can change it up and um so i enjoy crafting more again because I, I miss it i want to get back into it so i hope you guys are having a great start to your summer and things are going smoothly for you drop me a comment say hello 
and I'll talk to you guys real soon.